Yo, what's going on, Washington Commanders fans? I'm back with another video, and today we have a little bit of news today um, or centered around Brian Johnson, and also Al Harris will not be coming to Washington as Dallas have, you know, they rejected our um, our offer, you know, because we were going to hire him, I think, for secondary DBs coach, but it just didn't work out. Jerry Jones is stopping this from happening. But before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe, turn on post notifications because we are on a road to 1,200 subscribers. And yeah. All right. So according to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, the commanders are hiring former Eagles offensive coordinator Brian Johnson to their staff. Um, and he will play a prominent role, a part of Dan Quinn's um, staff, as well as, you know, the new offensive coordinator we've hired, Cliff Kingsbury. And honestly, I think, I think that's a good um I, I don't know who is better for the job. Uh I think Brian Johnson has a good case. Um you know, if he if you know, if he can develop a rookie quarterback, uh have them looking somewhat decent, I think he will get another uh chance. He's only 36 years old. Um the dude, he he can coach, um but as an offensive coordinator, I don't think he was ready yet. Uh, maybe it could be, it, it could have been Sirianni's offensive scheme that was messing him up. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm just glad he's not the offensive coordinator. Uh, it's pretty clear Cliff Kingsbury definitely deserved it over him. Um, too many screen passes, you know, too many long. Like, basically everything that we complained about with Eric Bieniemy was going on with Brian Johnson. That's why he didn't get the offensive coordinator position but I'm glad he's on the staff regardless as a QB coordinator because he did develop um guys like Dak Prescott and also Jalen Hurts you know he was what he was the QB uh passing coordinator in 2021 and 2022 for Philly and helping develop Jalen Hurts so I like the move all together uh I can't wait to see what he could cook up and yeah um the reason he got fired, you know, even though that Philly team finished, what, 11-6, and six, they, you know, they started off hot, but it doesn't matter how you start, it's about how you finish, and those last six to seven games were terrible. They lost six six of their last seven games, um, and I think that includes the playoff as well, and that, that offense looks stale. That offense looked bad. Hopefully, I mean, I'm, there's no hopefully. Like, I, I, I know for a fact he's better at um, play designing, but being an offensive coordinator, like being a leader of an offense is just, he might not be ready yet. He's 36, so he's still got some time. Uh, he was, this is what his resume looks like. Um, he was the uh, quarterback's coach in 2010 20, through 2013 and offensive coordinator in 2012 at Utah before moving to Mississippi State between 2014 and 2016, where he would end up working with quarterbacks like Dak Prescott. Uh, and then he was a quarterback's coach for a year in Houston before coaching the quarterbacks, before being a coaching quarterback, uh, a quarterback's coach, sorry about that, uh, in 2018 and 2020. And yeah, in 2020, he served one year as an offensive coordinator. So he has a lot of experience in the offensive passing game regardless, but that passing game in that in that playoff, it, it was terrible. Uh, it was really terrible the last seven games, like I've already mentioned, and that's why he's out of a job now. Uh, well, he's not out of a job now. He's with us now, but the point is he got fired for a reason, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't look into this move too much. I think this is just signs. This is early signs of us that we're very serious about locking in and developing a quarterback. I think Quinn has already set the tone for the team and what he wants to do. Uh, same with Cliff Kingsbury, what he wants to do with this offense. And that's to develop a quarterback because Sam Howe is not going to be the starting quarterback. Um, If he is, something went wrong. Something went wrong. We either trade it back, which it, it in ways it can be, uh, a good move, but I think there's a no-brainer. You go with the three quarterbacks that, are, that uh, have a chance to change things around, which is Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, and obviously uh, Drake May. 
And yeah, that's pretty much all I have on the Brian Johnson news. I'm, I mean, some guys don't like it. I don't know why you wouldn't like a move like this. He has experience um, being a quarterback's coach, and he's actually pretty good at that. So we'll see. You know, not everybody can be a, a court a offensive coordinator uh, too soon. I think he just needs a little bit more time. Maybe he could get like an offensive coordinator job like in college, like right as of right now, but in the NFL, nah, I think he might need a couple more years before, you know, he could probably get reconsidered for that job. Now onto the Al Harris news. He will not be here in Washington. Although he's made it very known that he would love to follow Dan Quinn wherever, you know, Jerry Jones and, and the Cowboys are not letting that happen. According to Todd Archer, in addition to blocking Washington from interviewing tight end coach, Lunda Wells, the Cowboys denied the commanders from speaking with DB's coach Al Harris per a source. Um, and God knows we need another tight end coach because those tight ends in the 2020, like just the past five years, honestly, tight end, the tight end position hasn't been very well. Um, I mean, you could argue 2020 for Logan Thomas was a good year, but uh, we, we really have, we really need to upgrade at the tight end position um coaching wise and off also player wise um so I'm interested to see who we will hire uh at that tight end position um going forward I kind of figured you know since this is a lateral move that Dallas would do something like that because they are allowed to do something like that especially when it's a lateral move um I'm not gonna I don't really care about it too much I know we're interested in other people uh yeah, I won't dwell on it too much. Um, you know, having Al Harris on this this in the God knows we need it. The secondary last year was bad outside of uh Kendall Fuller really. Um and yeah. <laughs> I mean, it it would have been a good move. I mean, definitely would love to have Al Harris on this secondary, but hey, you got to move on. I'm pretty sure there's candidates out there who are much deserving as well. So we'll see what goes on with the 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 secondary this this off season. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't want to take up much of your time here. And yeah, enjoy your Thursday. Peace. I'm the out. video is not over. Apparently, you know, a few minutes ago, Jeremy Fowler again cracking more and more news as the hours go by. But Commanders are hiring Raiders defensive pass game coordinator Jason Simmons. And I honestly love this hire. Um, I see some Raiders fans saying that we, we got a good one. So, I mean, hey, I'm ready to work. I'm ready to work with this guy. He did develop uh, Jair Alexander. He developed Nate Hobbs. Uh, he developed Dante Jackson and Jack Jones over the years. And Raiders ranked ninth in scoring defense last year. So, honestly, I'm stoked about this defense. Uh, any defense, like, I, I really love Dan Quinn's defenses for the most part. Um, so, yeah, I feel like that is that, that is going to be the the most improved positions um, on this team. Really excited about the future. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of, about his backstory or what he what his resume looks like. And then I'm going to get out of here. So Simmons began his coaching career as a coaching administrator um, on defense for the Green Bay Packers in 2011. Uh, after one season in that capacity, Simmons was promoted to defensive assistant secondary, a position he held for four years, 2012 through 2015 in Simmons' first stint. On defense, the Packers tallied up 94 interceptions in those four years with that team. So this guy, honestly, is still in the making. We did interview him yesterday uh, for the position, and we got him. We got our guy. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm very excited again. Um, you know, he was a 10-year NFL veteran as a player. So the guy is, like, anybody that we hired that used to play football, um, very stoked about that. Couldn't, so we couldn't get, um, Al Harris, but we got a good, a good passing game coordinator. So, yep, that's pretty much it for this video. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Peace, officially. <laughs>